This is the Dallas Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey. It's mailbag time on today's show, answering all of your questions on all things Dallas Cowboys. First up from Mark. Are we trying to trade Collins? What's he worth? It's a good question. Uh, it was reported by Ian Rapport that the Cowboys are taking active trade calls. Is it possible a different team leaked this in an effort to, you know, upset Collins and force a trade? Maybe. In general, folks, when trade stuff leaks, it means the team that has the player is trying to get more out of a guy. I would wonder if then they will trade Lyle Collins. I would guess maybe a second. I think we have to be honest with ourselves here. He, has, he missed all of 2020 and a good part of 2021. When he's on his game, he's an awesome right tackle. I think the Cowboys are kind of upset with the player and the person, and that will drive, drive down his trade value. All right, from Mark, what's the percent chance we actually get something for Cooper, or is he lost? We never seem to get anything for players. Tank and Coop come to mind. Yeah, you're not going to get anything for Tank, and that, by the way, that could get really ugly. Like, I, I could see the Cowboys and Tank's agent do not get along. I could see the Cowboys holding on to Tank, holding on to Tank, holding on to Tank, and then going back with, hey, take this pay cut or we're going to cut you when the market's dried up. Like, that's how ugly it could get. As for Cooper, they'll try. When it gets out, you're going to cut the player, the value goes way down. So we'll have to wait and see on Amari. They've got about a week or so to make, maybe 10 days to make that call. For my burner account, so are we keeping our whole excuse-ridden staff? Might lose D-Law, Cooper, Lyell, be cheap in free agency, but J.J. would do anything to win a Super Bowl. Tom, what are we doing? My apparently hot take, kind of punting on this year. Like, you still might win the division, because it's not that good of a division, you, and you got a, some good players still. Your QB, namely, gives you a chance in most games. But I think with all this money you're going to free up, hypothetically, if you do lose D-Law, Coop, and Collins, $60 million in cap space next year with a giant jump in the salary cap coming as well. Tell you what, you, uh, you might be playing for 2023 and beyond and not 2022 and beyond. Ty Prince, thoughts on drafting Grant Calcaterra, the SMU tight end with our fourth or fifth rounder? Probably the right range. I got better tight ends over him. Um, if you want a guy that can move a little bit more, be that, that F move tight end, I got some interest there. The medical has to check. I mean, he medically retired from SMU, then, or from Oklahoma, then, then ends up at SMU. So the medical side has to check out from that perspective. I don't, I don't know necessarily if that's a lock at this point. So fifth is fine with me, provided the medical does check out from that perspective. So that I, I would draft a tight end unless you lock up Dalton Schultz long term. Oh, right on cue. Billy Foosball, because Foosball's the devil. Will the Cowboys extend Dalton Schultz? <sighs> we actually made this briefly, the, the pin poll on, on today's live video, and then the Lyle Collins stuff happened. Um, I would like to, because first off, I would not have tagged Schultz. I would have let him at the open market, taken my third-round comp pick, and figured it out after that. I would extend Schultz to sign other guys. If you just tag Dalton Schultz, it's an $11 million contract cost, and you save no real money, and it only goes up next year. You can't play around with the contract. I just wonder if maybe the Cowboys will let this go until at least after the draft, and you see what tight ends are there. And if you get one, you roll it back with Schultz for one year and then allow him to leave. Or if you don't get one, then maybe you start to consider an extension for Schultz. He's a good tight He's a top 10 tight end, guys. We don't want to admit that. He is. That's expensive. I would rather focus on other players at, at positions. Amari Cooper, for example. But he's a good player. If you get a good deal, I'm, I'm okay with it. What do you guys think? Will the Cowboys extend Dalton Schultz? This is the pinned comment on today's video. Head down there if the ad break comes. Why for yes and for no. Will Marshall, why should the front office give a better product if we diehard Dallas fans are going to sell out games and bring in money to their pockets regardless? I understand where you're coming from. My counterpoint is this. You know, even if you're on the road, making a playoff run only benefits your organization. So I don't think it's a, a money issue. I think it's a it, – it's, it's not that, that they don't want to win. It's that they're bad at, at, at doing it. I, I'll, I'll say this too. The Cowboys have been above 500 every year since 2005 when their QB was healthy. 
they're not, they're not a bad organization. They're just not good enough of an organization. I think that's incompetency, not in intentionalness. Ryan Cantu, would picks and Cooper for Devontae Adams work? Uh, I don't think Aaron Rodgers wants that. Also, I don't know if you, the Cowboys would also not do it because you're going to give up picks and then pay Devontae Adams 28, 29, 30 is what he wants allegedly, million per year. I think this is one of those both sides end up saying no type of trade talks. Ecuador man, what do you get for Collins? Kind of hit that earlier. Second, I'm calling the Bengals, the Chargers, and the Dolphins. Those three teams, I want to know, hey, what, what are you going to give me? for Collins, and then drive them and pit them against each other. Armando Quintana, if CD doesn't become our true number one this year without Amari Cooper, what do we do about his contract? I, you're going to pick up his fifth year. Uh, look, CD Lamb in two years has posted 153 catches, 2,000 plus yards, and 11 touchdowns. It's not just in Jefferson numbers. I get that. Maybe feed him like Justin uh, or JJ, whatever it is. You want a little bit more out of him, but he's not bad either. I think it, if he doesn't become it, like, you know, wait another year, and then you don't have to make a decision right then. Lamb is a great football player. He's just not quite great as we hope at this point. But also, I think it's scheme. You know, run mesh one time to see Lamb. Use him at times like Debo Samuel. I'm not asking for too much, I don't think. Speaking of not asking for too much, how about a sale deal from our friends over at Fanatics? Chatsports.com slash Cowboys. 60% off is the deal. The Cowboys do run the East, statistically speaking. Jeremy, you shake your head no. They got like an 80% winning percentage with Dak at QB. It, it's, it's nutty, and that will change at some point. But, but Chatsports.com slash Cowboys. 60% off a wide variety of products from PJ's polo combo packs. There's a lot of great stuff available. Check the comment section and the description. There's a deal for you guys on there. I'm willing to bet. It's chatsports.com slash cowboys. Larry R., should the Cowboys give up on the season since the Commanders acquired Carson Wentz? I think the Commanders should give up on the season since they acquired Carson Wentz. Even, even producer Jeremy agrees with me. It's a bad trade for, for the Commanders. He wasn't good at the end, at the end in Philly. He had, like, one little run of, like, maybe two runs at the end of 2019 and the middle part of 2017 when he was unreal on third downs. Beyond that, he's living off being an, uh, 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 the second overall pick. He's living off the hype, not the production here. From my burner account, 26-year-old drought, 25-year-old illegitimate kid. This is about Jerry Jones, allegedly, the lawyers tell me to say. Uh, there is a correlation there. Is there a causation? Is it the curse of Jerry? Who knows? Ecuador man, Olave or Burks at 24? Ooh, good question. Um, I think if you were keeping Cooper I w and losing Gallup, I would rather have Olave. I think that type of skill set is an easier replacement. If you're keeping Gallup and Lamb kind of would want to try trailing Burks. Now, Jerry don't draft Arkansas kids. Happened one time, but Burks at 24 or Olave at 24, both of those picks I'd be just fine with, depending on what other roster stuff you have to deal with. Folks, we are live on the Cowboys Report every Thursday, and when news happens, we'll almost a free agency, we'll see if the Cowboys go back to being the Cowboys after dark like they were in 2020. Subscribe for all the news you need on the Dallas Cowboys. King Shadow, that $60 million in 2023 we used to pay our guys and still bargain shop for our actual needs. Let's not get too excited here. He's not wrong. Um, the Cowboys haven't spent big. They, they spend closer to the salary cap, but they're not aggressive with their spending of the salary cap, at least as aggressive as they can be. Tristan Brown, Stephen Jones is ruining this franchise. SMH. There was a point where I thought Stephen Jones was the savior. I am out on that. Um, it's just, it. he's too conservative. I don't trust him because there's no job threat of security for Stephen Jones. There's none. There's no urgency in that top of the front office. And there are other organizations that are more desperate. Some of those organizations will result in change. They'll fire guys. 
But some of them, like the Rams and Bengals, will have more success than the Cowboys because they get desperate. I'd like just a little bit of desperation. It could be a little bit, a little bit it's a good thing. A little bit, all right? A little bit of, crest, of, of cl 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 cholesterol is a good thing. A lot of cholesterol is not a good thing, all right? It's a weird analogy. I'm not really sure what I'm saying anymore. But a little bit of desperation isn't a bad thing. From Greg Anthony, who will the Cowboys draft in round one? Hmm. It's a little early to say, but if, as a gambling man, I bet they go offensive line, most likely interior offensive line. Three names I think you guys should watch out for here. Kenyon Green out of A&M. Then we the combine. wonder if they're hiding their intentions there. Tyler Linderbaum, the Iowa center who I would love. He's a top 10 player for me. Bring him on down. And then Zion Johnson, who was more impressive than Green at the Combine, but Green's got better film as far as I'm concerned, out of Boston College. Those are three names if they do go interior O-line like I think that they might. But I want to hear from you. After all, you can probably draft as well as the Cowboys do. Many of you didn't want Taco Charlton. Who do you think the Cowboys will draft in round one? Drop a name for me in the comments right now. Roger Moore, who is the Cowboys' most valuable player to trade uh, if you want to talk about the realistic ones meaning like not the guys they're not going to trade they're not going to trade Dak they're not going to trade Micah Parsons they're not going to trade uh Trayvon Diggs I would say your most valuable player probably one of your tackles Lyle Collins or Tyron Smith one of those two I would guess is your most valuable asset from Jared, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to try to try to pronounce it there. Can you do a player restructure video, Tom, for owner? If, if we have time, potentially, there's a lot of news that's been going on. Like, I haven't put out one of the mailbags from last week because there's just been there's too much going on there. Um, open to it, but I don't know if we're going to have the time for it there, Jared. It's a lunatic. Last two players tagged in D-Law and, and Dak put under the tag. Bad front office who've been tagging Dalton Schultz. He's, you're, look, you're on to something here, my friend. Because I don't trust the Cowboys or to get to get a deal done. Because the exact reason you mentioned, they didn't with Tank and they didn't with Dak. They're gonna do it with Schultz. We'll see. My burner account. Stephen J so or S Stephen Jones is so cheap he owns one light bulb and carries it room to room. Uh, I wanna do I, I wanna do one day uh, we I dress up as Stephen Jones and read mean tweets as if I'm Stephen Jones. There would be some bangers in there. MLZ's videos. You are Jerry Jones' son. Would you restructure Cooper and Demarcus Lawrence? I would absolutely restructure Amari Cooper. I'm not a doubt in my mind. There is more room for conversation with Tank. I would ask him about an extension, and maybe Cooper as well. Um, and hopefully, uh, as the new Jerry Jones' son, uh, Tom Jones... I am not as hated as uh, maybe Steven and, and the, and the uh, you know, old agent for Lawrence are. That, that got real bad a while ago, and that still might not be great. There are, I know this to be true, there are a lot of people around the league that don't like Steven Jones that much, and that's a problem in the NFL. From Real Talk 360, sign Tyron Matthew. Maybe this time around, the Cowboys won't be in the Bahamas on on vacation during free agency. Real thing that happened, by the way, because they were asleep with the wheel, and then said, scheme fit. Absolute lie, or they were incompetent. In the end, don't get your hopes up. Tyron Matthews, still a good football player. The Honey Badgers still got it. Um, but I, I wouldn't bank on the Cowboys throwing big money at a safety. I just, I, I, don't, I don't like that path at really any level. So I would not get my hopes up for Matthew. Other guys, sure. So is this the year the Cowboys finally invest in safety? Type F for finally or type in S to tell me to shut up, Tom. All right, Slack got the super chat working this time. There you go, my friend. Draft Booth at 24 and Brandon Smith, Smith at 56. Um, I think that's probably where you'd have to draft those guys. I actually wouldn't like it. Um, I, I didn't love Booth. I got guys like Kair Elam ahead of him. He's also a bad tackler. Like, he doesn't, he's just not good at it. Kind of like Trayvon Diggs is. I would rather take a Trent McDuffie, a Kyrie Lynn. Plus, what am I doing with Kelvin Joseph now? I've got all my corners back. I don't need another corner, I don't think. And then Brandon is an awesome, unreal athlete. 
<laughs> he's not that good of a football player yet. So I actually wouldn't love that. The upside's there to be awesome, but I, I just have those players graded lower right now. Cole Haggerty, last one here. With both Zion Johnson and Kenyon Green willing to play center also, which one would you draft with that flexibility? I don't think either should play center. I know they're down, but those guys are both better at guard. Like, Johnson did some center stuff at the Senior Bowl, and Green did a handful of reps at AM. I would much rather go with the guard for either of those guys in round one.